Hi, I'm going to show you all the new updates of our online shop widget for Adobe Muse. So first thing is that now you can add two decimals to the price. So before you couldn't do this, you just could only show one decibel, but now you can actually show two decimals. And you can also force Adobe Muse to show leading zeros. So the thing is that now when you, when you purchase this widget, you will have five widgets in one. I've dragged the five widgets into the workspace so we can talk a little bit about each one of them. So the thing is that I'm, I'm going to open... Okay, so this is when you download the Muse Online Shop version 4, you'll get these five widgets. So the difference among, among them is that these two are simple products and in one you can add uh, leading zeros and these are... there are products where you can add variables like size or different prices or different colors. Just imagine if you have an online shop of, you know, you're selling t-shirts. So you might want to set a different price for colors or for the different sizes. I don't know, whatever. So the next thing is I'm going to open the options here so you can see all the new updates. So now you can actually align the, the text. You can align it to the center or you can align it to the right. And new thing is that you can choose the font, okay? Apart from this, this the product styles, uh, basically everything is the same. You can change the background color, play with opacity, and, you know, mm, the hover or the border size. You can play with that. So button styles are the same, and let's go to product settings. So the thing is that now, here in the product settings, you can add mm, tax rate to different to the different products. So just imagine like, I don't know, you're selling a cup and it has a 21% uh, tax, but there's another product that has just an 18%. So you can do this individually to every single product. And you can also add the shipping value, individual shipping value, okay? You can find this in every single widget, all right? If you want to add a total shipping cost, you can do it here in the shopping cart. That, by the way, this shopping cart now is, is, is visible and is available in all the pages. You can just drag it and place it in the master page and it will be available in all pages and it will remember everything. So here, mm, let's go, okay, here, if you click on this, then you are adding the total shipping cost. So activate total, total shipping to disable sh shipping costs applied to every product. Okay, so if somebody is buying like four products, then it will instead of, of adding the individual cost, it will be just one cost. So this is what you have to do, just in case. Okay, the other thing is, let's go to the variables so you can see all the attributes. So you'll find the same options in product style, the button style, and the product settings, but you can add this attribute. So product attribute one, so you can... You can actually name it here however you want. Uh, we've put sizes and different prices. And remember, you have to click on this so it will be visible. So you can add up to two groups, okay? So one group is set to, to size, but remember, you can delete this and you can choose the one that you want. And the next attribute is set to colors, okay? So this means that once you preview it, I'm going to let's preview this so you see. Okay, so we go down here, so you see how you can actually choose size, L, and choose the color red. So you can add this to the cart, and you can see how you have the option size L, and option 2 is color red, okay? So that's all, guys. Thank you very much for watching.